Come, Holy Spirit, bless this unworthy priest that I may share with humility and with the heart, not just with the lips. And people will listen with their hearts, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit. Amen, Lord. Amen. So, dear friends, thank you for being with us again Sunday. Last Sunday of August. And next week's already the first Sunday in September. Wow. Thank you, Father Jerome Lugadi, for reading the gospel for us. Again, Father Jerome is one of our gifts to the world. I'm a young missionary, just ordained last uh, February, going to Mexico. Alam niyo sa Mexico, mayroon silang popular na inumin dyan. Tequila. <laughs> you know, I heard, because of the pandemic daw, tumaas ang konsumo ng alcohol. Bakit pa ang dami naging alcoholic? Hindi dahil sa sanitizer, ang <laughs> daming gumagamit ng inang alcohol. Talking about sanitizers, tama-tama po itong gospel ngayon. How Jesus observed that the Jews were very strict in sanitizing, washing their hands. Lahat. Strict to sila. Marami silang tradisyon. Washing hands. And today, Sanitizing hands, ma marami po tayo. Which is good. But siguro ang sinasabi ni Lord, washing hands ka ng washing hands. Hindi ka naman nagwa-wash your heart. Washing hearts. That's something we need to remember. We are so focused on our hands. How about our hearts? May naalala ko nun eh, isang kanta. Mare, kasi yung panlabas lang eh. Nag-lipstick ka nga, nag-lipstick. Di ka naman nag-brush your teeth. May mga ganun ba? Na, na, ano pa ba yan? Nag-pulbos ka nga, nag-pulbos. Di ka naman agdigdigos. <laughs> Di ka naman naliligo ka naman. It's a long one eh. But that's the whole point. Mahili lang tayo sa panlabas. So please don't forget, along with washing hands, please don't forget washing heart. Very important po. God sees the heart. Whenever we come before the Lord, there's a lot of things in our minds, but important is this heart really open to God isa pa hong dapat na baguhin natin based on the gospel kasi mga iba pa impress if you're living a life just to impress after a while ano ba yan? ang babaw ang daming pa impress you go sa mga facebook mga post Hindi ko maintindihan bakit ipopost mo pa yung anong kinain mo. Eh, o anong rilo mo? O, kailangan ba yun? Parang, for what? Para ma-impress sila. Please forget being impressive. It's a, it's a wrong, wrong journey. Kung yan ang journey ng buhay mo, pampa-impress ka lang, Sorry, parang mababaw. Ang babaw po ng buhay natin. Shallow. So, ito po ang paalaala ni Lord sa atin yon. From being impressive, be expressive. Maganda po sa Tagalog yun eh. Yung impressive eh. Pakitang tao. Pakitang tao. Ang sabi ni Lord ngayon sa atin, pakitang puso. Mas maganda. 
Mayroon po kong na-counseling. At nadidepress na siya. Kasi yun na, sabi niya, ang hirap ng pera, hindi ko magawa yung gusto kong gawin, yung may tatapusin ako, para, mga, para sa mga anak ko, kung ano, ang daming sinabi. And I asked him, what for? Kung dahil dyan sa mga gusto mong gawin na yan, pampa-impress, you become unhealthy na. Tignan mo. At dahil doon, matapang ka na sa anak mo, sa mga kwan, naging depressed na siya. Can you see? Can't you see? Anong nangyayari? Just because of those. Ang daming bagay kaya yung gusto magpa-impress palagi. <laughs> Mas maganda po yung natural. As is, where is? Mas maganda po kasi, wala, this is me. So, at lahat po tayo, lahat po tayo, we have that tendency to show what we are. Pakitang tao, mas maganda po yung pakitang puso. Let's try that. This is what the Lord is telling all of us here today. Kaya nga po kumisan, yan na. Ang dami mga fake, magpakatutuo ka na lang, mas maganda pa. Eh marami na fake. Ito, this is the age of so many fakes. Ano yung mga fake, mga false, o mga imitations. Dami, no? Fake news. Ano pa? <laughs> Ano pang false, false teeth, kung ano ano mga false eh. Mayroon ding false piety. Ito ang sinabi ni Lord. Please, don't forget, many times, those who think they are so religious and look down on other people, but in their hearts, God knows. And they become very strict and observant. You see, the first line of the gospel says, the Pharisees gather around Jesus and they observe. Para silang may karapatan. They observe. Aba, yung mga yan, yung mga yan. See what pride that is all about. Yun po yung mataas ang kilay. Jesus corrected that. Hindi po yung panlabas. False piety. Let's be very careful po about that. Ang parang feeling natin, tayo lang mas magaling, mas matalino, mas may karapatan magsalita. Anything along those lines, red flag na po tayo dyan. Mas maganda po, teka muna. And so our prayer is, Lord, cleanse us. Hugasan po niyo ang puso namin, ang mga pag-iisip namin, sapagkat dyan nagsisimula ang sabi ng Panginoon, from within people, from their hearts, come evil thoughts, unchastity, theft, murder, adultery, greed, malice, deceit, licentiousness, envy, blasphemy, arrogance, and folly. All evils come with, from within. Alo po nyo yung kwenento ko po nun. Nung bata pa kami, yung bangar tree. Naku po, pag summertime, that bangar tree, ang ganda ng bulaklak. Bright red. Beautiful tree with flowers. Pero yung amoy, <laughs> kahit one kilometer away, alam mo may bangar tree dun. And Papa told us, yan, yung mga bangar tree. May mga taong ang ganda tignan. Pero yung puso, yung nasa loob, nap, napakabaho. We come to the Lord always and say, Lord, cleanse us, cleanse us. Mahirap po yung sabi mo, okay na ako, Lord, ha? magaling na ako, mabait na ako, ganun. No, always say, cleanse us. Cleansing po ang kailangan. And that takes humility, mga kapatid. And uh, 
Naalala <laughs> ko nga eh. Nung seminarista kami, inimbita kami ng isang kaibigan somewhere in Alfonso. Sinundo pa kami kasi tennis. Wow. Eh, merong tournament. Kaya pala, inimbita kami. Fiesta. Ganun. Eh, parang dekorasyon na rin kami doon. It's whatever. But, ang hindi ko makalimutan, pagdating namin sa town, sabi niya, pakisarado natin yung mga bintana. Ha? Sabi ko, oh, para akala nila, may aircon ng kotse ko. <laughs> oh my God, sabi ko, akala namin sandali lang dada, ay na traffic. <laughs> Diyos ko, ayaw yung ipabukas yung bintana. Kasi para makita raw na, baka makita nila na aircon ang sasakya ko. That time kasi kukunti pa may air. You see what happened? Dahil sa pa-impress niya, ginamit pa niya mga ibang tao para lang umangat ang sarili niya. Ang dami pong gumagawa niya ngayon. But don't forget, God knows the score. Huwag po tayong mamawala ng pag-ala. Bakit, Lord? Diyos ko po, ang daming mga nagdanakaw, nangungurakot. Parang wala na pong Pustisya. Don't lose heart, please. God knows and God will God's justice will happen. Marunong po ang Panginoon. So don't lose heart, please. Continue to be uh, true. Ano ba sinabi natin? Magpakatotoo. Stick to that. The truth sets you free, the truth brings you home. The truth will give you peace. Sa simula, mahirap po, but in the end, it will give you peace, mga kapatid. So, yung mga pangako, o yung mga husbands and wives, di ba nangako kayo? Pangako sa'yo. Ano yun? Nangako kayo. Kumusta na yung mga pangako? Thank you for trying your best. To be true to your promise. And uh, anong test? Ito nga po yung truthfulness. What is the test? Number one, masasabi mo talagang okay yung commitment mo kung ang una po yung tinatawag nilang test of time. Yung nagtagal kayo. Kayo pa rin. That's one sign na uh, yung kanyang commitment ay matatag. It doesn't mean na may mga walang mga lapses, pero number two, test of fruits. Yung pagsasama ba ninyo, yung commitment ba ninyo, nakapagdulot ng magandang bunga. Kasi kung ang dami kang mga sinasabi, pero wala namang resulta. You talk about a lot of things, pero wala namang results. Okay? And of course, your test of peace. If you are peaceful, in spite of everything, most likely you're very true. You're trying to be true. Be truthful. Di ba, last week, sabi natin, huwag dapat truth decay. At huwag din truth delay. At huwag na huwag yung truth walay. Yan ang nangyayari ngayon eh. Inaayos-ayos na lang. No. The Lord says, it's the heart in the end. It's always the heart. And alam ko nyo, mga iba rin po, mga napaka-stricto. Sa isa't isa, mga denumero, bakit ganyan, ganyan. Speaking strict, uh, was it last week? Meron akong Zoom mass. <laughs> 100, year, 100 years old, Lola. Pagdating ng 8 o'clock mas, tulog na. Bakit? Strict daw yung parents niya, pinatulog na siya. <laughs> What I'm saying is, kidding aside, masyado tayong strict sa iba, pero are we, are we uh, qualified? Are we worthy to be like that? Imposing it on others, and yet, hindi naman tayo sumusunod sa mga dapat. Think about it, mga kapatid. So, my dear friends, even minsan, uh, pati sa mga regulations, um, 
For example, may tatanong sa Father, yung bang pag Huwebes Santo, pitong simbahan ang pupunta na namin o tatlo lang? Sabi ko, hindi ko po alam. Basta importante po siguro yung puso. Eh, very strict mga iba eh. Mayroon nga kung kwento ng dalawang pare. Tinanong ng isang parishioner. Yung una, very simple na pare. Tinanong siya, uh, Father, ilang novena ang gagawin ko para magkaroon ako ng Mercedes-Benz? Yung pare, ay, alam ko yung novena, pero ano ba yung Mercedes-Benz? Ay, wala siyang kaalam-alam sa kamunduhan eh. Tinanong naman isang pare, ito yung sophisticated na medyo pa naman. Ang sagot nito, yung sophisticated. Uh, alam ko kung anong Mercedes-Benz. Ano ba yung novena? You see, when we adulterate prayer, itong nangyayari po minsan eh. Kasi masyado na tayong the spirit of the law versus the letter of the law. Ito po sana rin baguhin natin mga kapatid. The letter of the law, yan tayo masyadong stricto. The spirit of the law. For example po, may mga nagtatawang sa akin, Father, can you hear my confessions by phone? Um, I do. But I tell them, hindi pa ito sacramental confession. But if you feel like you want to, why not? Of course, it's not sacramental, etc. But it's still a heart that wants to be forgiven. Or somebody in the ICU, by, by phone, wala, man ang, wala sigurong oil, anointing, but it's still a, a sacrament. And it's not a sacrament, maybe, but it's an encounter with the law. Yun pong ibig ko sabihin. Kumisan yung mga letter of the law, nakakalimutan tuloy natin yung spirit of the law. Ito nga po palagi sinasabi natin, I heard somebody say it, the three C's of the church na dapat natin, wag, wag lang yan. Kasi mas madalas pinag-uusapan natin the creed, yung mga doktrina. Daming debate dyan. Valid, of course, yes. Number two, the code, canon law. Naku, mga batas-batas. Kailangan po yan. And number three, cult, yung liturgy, rubrics. Anong dapat? Okay po yan. Pero kung yan lang po, ang yan lang at yan lang palagi, we will become irrelevant to people as a church, especially to the young. Instead of the three C's, instead, hindi naman instead po, beyond the three C's, also with the three C's of cult, creed, and, and um, code, the three C's of learn to talk about more about charity, C, community, and another C, of course, Christ himself, the person of Christ. Ibalance po natin yan, mga kapatid, ha? So, our prayer is, cleanse us, O Lord. Cleanse us. By the way, I'm finishing a book entitled, Cleansing Moments. Moments when you realize, oops, something was wrong in me. Marami pala akong dapat pang baguhin. Cleansing Moments. I hope to finish it by my birthday, October 1. It's a simple sharing of what little things I, I realize. For example, one cleansing moment was isang pilgrimage po. Mayroon po akong pilgrim na matanda na, lalo na sa Japan. Lahat palaging tanggal ng sapatos, paglabas, balik ulit. And what I did was, uh, tinutuluan ko yung matanda, about 75, 80. At uh, nilalagay ko yung sapatos niya. Pagkatapos din, I took, at, I took my kwan para lang matulungan. So I thought that was okay until I saw Father Bobby, who was in Japan that time, sumama siya sa amin ng one day nung punta kami sa Paris niya. I saw Father Bobby remove the shoes, nilagay niya sa kwan. Pagbalabas namin, I saw Father Bobby get the shoes at lumuhod siya. Tinali pa niya yung sapatos ng matanda. 
that was a cleansing moment for me. Akala ko, I was doing something already. Kulang pa. Marami po tayong mga cleansing moments. When we realize, oh God, still have so much to learn about humility and true love. Isipin po mga kapatid, pag-isipan po nating lahat. Kala natin okay na tayo, that's the worst thing you could think of. I am a work in progress. I am a sinner. I need conversion. At any moment of our lives, dapat po ganun ang thought natin. We all need cleansing, mga kapatid. So we ask the Lord to be cleansed. One time, I had a conferer na ang hirap pakisamahan. Well, there are people like that. Ang yabang magsalita, palaging siya lang salita ng salita. Parang, so deep inside my heart, parang, ayaw ko na, siyempre. I mean, I'm trying my best, but tumatahimik na lang ako. Pero deep inside my heart, sabi ko, pambira naman ito. Then I got sick of flu one day. And then in the evening, he was knocking on my door. Somebody pag-open ko. Yung, yung difficult confer na yun. Oh, Jer, pinagluto kita ng sopas. Oh my God, sabi ko. You see, I felt so cleansed. May this time of the pandemic really cleanse us. If we really listen to God, yeah, things, things will, will be whispered to us. So mga kapatid, let our prayer be cleanse my heart, O God. We bow our heads then and ask the Lord to cleanse all of us. Listen to the Lord telling you and me now. From the book of Ezekiel, I will sprinkle clean water upon you to cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols. I will cleanse you. In this moment of quiet, is there anything in your life? Kapatid, na gusto mo ng malinis, look into your character, maybe. relationships, attitudes. We all need cleansing. And God gives us this promise. I will give you a new heart and place a new spirit within you, taking from your bodies your stony hearts and giving you natural hearts. I will put my spirit within you and make you live by my statutes. Careful to observe my decrees. You shall live in the land I gave your fathers. You shall be my people, and I will be your God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Cleanse us and cleanse our people, our government, our country, the Philippines, our, and cleanse the world, Lord. Please lead us in this time of pandemic. It's a time of purification and cleansing for all of us. Amen. Amen. And amen. Now we profess our faith and we pray. I believe in, in one God, God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, 
born of the Father before all ages, 